Well, great job, great interview, and it's fun to see people. Utah is arguably the prettiest state in the country. I know you and I both are hands down on board and, with that. You know, we have that. We have sports, and probably a third to, in some cases, half of the Olympians for the Winter Olympics, that is, have a nexus here in Utah. Either they train here, live here, or go to school here. It, it We're incredible. But we're also the independent film capital, and to have slam dance come off it, Mm -hmm. is pretty darn cool, and it's something we should be really proud of. Well, and Kevin Costner that kind of came up on the heels to bring in and really, I feel like he came in after Robert Redford saw what he did and took it to the next, not maybe the next level, but definitely took it to a level, kept it going, right? And then we have so many great films that are made here, and it's because in a matter of hours, you can be from a desert to a snow scene. It's just, it's such a wonderful state for all the different array of beauty you can find and need for whatever film. And it was a shame because Yellowstone has become the most popular show on television. Mm -hmm. And the first three scenes were filmed up at Park, all the interiors up at Park City Studios. But then a lot of the other stuff, Ogden, all over. But as you mentioned, Kevin Costner, when he produces movies now, mm -hmm. likes to be in Utah. He really and, does. He looks for uh, locations here in this state. But you know what's sad is back in the 50s, we, a lot of movies were filmed in southern Utah. And... Because of the, the fact they were downwinders from the nuclear testing mm. outside Las Vegas, a number of actors, including John Wayne and actresses, wow. came down with cancer, and they think there was a connection. So we did a magnificent movie showcase, went back in my K-Jazz days with Todd Summers, down in Kanab at the Gunsmoke on the set, because it's still there, in the Perry Hotel. We, we had so much fun. If you have an opportunity to go down there and you want a little film nostalgia it's all still there for you, at least from the last I heard, it is all still there for you. Have you ever seen it, been down that way? I have not. It's We've, really fun. Canab was great. We went down filming uh, a Las Vegas show mm -hmm. and just met a helicopter pilot. And we were just, you know, we didn't have anything set in mind and went up. And he took us up and took us some, to some petroglyphs. Oh. And we were flying maybe 50 to 60 feet from the wall of this canyon scene. One of the funnest things, you know, I remember when I moved here and just being so amazed by the Wasatch and people said, when you go to Southern Utah, you're going to be even more amazed. And now you guys go down to St. George and right. Mesquite and... We did have so much fun in Mesquite. Mesquite is a... By the way, Mesquite is not in Utah. It is, for it's not in Utah, but it's so adjacent and so close and it's such a fun place to people watch and go play. We had a, we had a blast in Mesquite. Anytime we go down there, it's a good time. Yeah, and uh, you used to go to Powder Mountain. Uh, Reed Hastings, the guy at Netflix, Honcho, bought it. And big things are happening at Powder Mountain. So Our wedding, 2024, Andy and Holly, is at Wolf Creek Resort. I'll, I'll give you the date. I'll give you the save the okay. date and all the details. So we plan on having a big party so at Wolf Creek Resort. free food and drink for all our viewers. So right, on this date. All our viewers. <laughs> so for Holly, I'm Tripp. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day.